everybody, David Olson here. And Chris Broderick, and we play with Megadeth. And we're here with the Music Zoo with Jackson Guitars. So this guitar is my baby. I love this thing. It's the result of me and Mike Shannon getting together and kind of me tormenting him with my ideas behind this guitar. Um, we start with the actual shape of the body, which is asymmetrical, but to me this serves a couple of purposes. One, I dig how it looks, and two, it really does help with the balance, because wherever you want the guitar to sit you want it to hang low or hang high, it's gonna sit right there with this body and where these strap buttons are placed. Um, next, I'll just kind of move from the headstock towards back towards the body. Uh, Planet Waves tuners, love these things. Uh, it sounds silly, but it's cool how they trim the string when you, uh, when you change the strings for you. Saves one less uh, thing that you have to do. Uh, they have a really smooth action. The tuning is always right on with them. And uh, yeah, just really great tuners. Uh, we come here to the back of the neck profile. And this is the one thing where Jackson actually kind of turned me on to the C shape. Because I was always more of a fan of a very flat kind of D shaped neck. And I didn't think I would dig it, but they made me the first prototype. And you know, I hadn't talked to them about the back of the neck or anything. And I felt I loved it. You know, there's just wherever your thumb is at behind the fretboard, you don't feel any edge or any corner or anything like that. It's just all seamless. I did, however, make them uh, make it just a little bit thinner than their traditional guitars. On the front side, we have a 12 inch radius across the entire fretboard. And that's kind of from my uh, experience with classical guitars and violins and stuff like that. Classical guitars tend to be totally flat. And I wasn't really a fan of that. Even though I played classical guitars for quite some time, uh, I prefer a radius fretboard. And another thing that this has is stainless steel frets for all the, you know, all the two-handed tapping stuff. Because you're putting a lot of velocity against the frets, you don't want them wearing out every couple of years or however, however long it would take. So I've got that, and then we have the contour cuts. Again, really good access to all the frets. Same thing with, with your right hand if you want to do two-handed tapping. Um, really just makes it easy to, to play this neck and this guitar effortlessly. Uh, custom pickups in this guitar. Custom wound with kind of like a bit of a mid-range peak in them so that uh, it kind of brings out the fundamental note a little bit more. And what I did with these was I had a push-pull volume knob so that you could split them. And so you get a traditional, you know, uh, neck, both, and bridge setting on the switch. And then this will split both of them at the same time so you can blend those any way you want. The tone is actually out of line until you pull it. So the reason why I like this is because anytime you put a potentiometer in line, you're losing some signal from the pickups. And I didn't want that. I, I don't use a lot of tone knob, but I figured some people might. So I put it in there. As long as you pull it, it's right where you want it. And then if you push it down, then it's out of line. So best of both worlds there, I feel. Uh, another first for a seven string is the Floyd Rose uh, Low Pro Edge. Uh, I don't know of any other 7-string that has this particular bridge. I love it because it keeps the fine tuners out of the way of your picking. That to me is a, is a big deal. Um, the body woods, we'll talk about that real quick. So we've got quilted maple on top and mahogany back. And to me this is a great tonal combination. It's, it sounds really punchy but at the same time it's got tons of sustain. and. Uh, you know, I can't say enough about how this guitar sounds and plays. Last thing, we've got the uh, side mount jack. And I have this actually facing up, but you could put it either way, uh, just depending on what you prefer. I like it up because a lot of times, you know, wirelesses coming from up top makes it easier to put in and out. So 
there you go. This is my guitar. Um, another thing that you should know about it is that this is the USA Custom version, but you can now get these in the Pro Line version as well. So you can get it in either a 7 or a 6. The USA Custom comes in transparent red, transparent white, transparent black, solid black, and the uh, Pro Line comes in matte black and gloss white. So if you get a chance, check one of these out. I hope you guys dig it. I know I do. I wouldn't have made it this way if I didn't, so enjoy.